Ijo Edima. What kind of heartless man do you have there in place of a dead man? Ijo, calm down. Calm down. But is he the only first born in land of fools? Ijo, calm down. He doesn't know tradition, okay? Just calm down. Calm down. Ah, what panda? Ijo Edima. Ah, what panda? The are all born so one of our matter. Say it again. Welcome to the food of the one in Panda. Thank Omar. you very much. Thank sit down. Yes, sit down. Thank you very much. How are your children and wife? Ah, uh, they are on summer holidays in the United States. Um, what do I offer you? <laughs> this house is yours too. Chief, a pregnant woman does not dance there till Lord will dance. I have a solemn message I must deliver to you from the people of Amatra before anything else. Ichi, is it about the two million naira that I promised to donate to the school project? <laughs> Come on, join me and let us drink. As we talk. Or have you forgotten in whose house you are? Not at all, Chief. Not at all. You see, a headless body has no need for learning of any sort. The all-knowing gods have beheaded a matcher. Mm. Mm. Deep words, Ichidima. Deep words. Unload your mind. Igwe umunnapwe. The okoji of a machara has joined his ancestors. So the council sent me to come and inform you. Thank God. Haru. Haru. What did you say? Calm down, EJ, calm down. You see, some kings are made, while some are predestined to be kings. I, Ibuani Danda, am born to be a king. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you had me right, Chief. I did. Huh? You said the ego is dead. Haru. The Igwe does not die. He goes to the great beyond to rest. Whatever, Ichi, whatever. An Igwe must die or, or rest for another to be crowned. Ichi, look at my head. Hmm? Look. Is it not good enough for the crown of Amachara? God forbid that I should be drawn into the abomination of this cousin, the succession to the throne of uh, Amachara. Why are the Igwe is yet to be buried? Ichidima, our forefathers say that those who must win any race must start in time to prepare for it. To me, the succession race has started. And if you fall in behind me, I promise to make you a millionaire overnight. Now, you're joking. The Ibuwa Indanda does not joke. Excuse me. Here, for a start. Go ahead and take it. I am happy that uh, you are all here. We set aside today to discuss the burial arrangements of the Igwe with particular emphasis on his last of father. As no. you all know... Oh, no, please. Not without Chief Mwaka. This meeting is too important to take place without the presence of the most illustrious son of Amachara, Chief Mwaka. Idima, council meetings do not wait for anybody. The meetings start on time. This is why it is demanded of the Ichies that they be punctual. You see? You see? That's the problem with poverty. The poor are created for the comfort and convenience of the rich. Enough! Enough, you change, man. Ah! I'm ashamed of you. The soul of Amata is lying in there in perpetual silence. And you are here in salt, no, no. Sit down!
As I was saying, it is the custom of our people to ensure that before the Igwe embarks on his... Can I know why this meeting started before my arrival? As I was saying, it is the tradition of our people. However poor you are, I expect you to know that a rich man like me has a lot of things to attend to at any given time. Papa, you came late. Sit down! We are here to discuss the burial rights of Igwe. Sit down! If that is what this meeting is all about, on how to raise money for the burial of the Igwe, you should have told me instead of wasting my time. I've already set aside a sum of 10 million naira for the burial. Ijazu, appoint a committee to work out the details and send the list to me later. Abwapanda. Good day, Ndichi. Abwapanda. Poverty of the mind is an affliction from the gods. Abwapanda. Abwapanda. Gods of our ancestors. I'm at crossroads. I have lived my life based upon our traditional values. My entire life has been governed by the conviction that it is right to be honest, straightforward and sympathetic to the plight of others. My father taught me as I was growing up that people are respected by the wealth of their virtue and not by virtue of their wealth. Today, all these values that we hold dear have been set aside in preference for things that are foreign and inimical to our interest as a people. What do I do? Do I change for the times? Gods, I have come to seek from you wisdom to enable me sustain the things I cannot change and still maintain my integrity. So because our values have changed and the yardstick for measuring this value has also changed, that's why I decided that uh, any man will go to the city and learn to survive on his own in the city. What? Yes. How can you send your only son? to room in strange city, a strange city and get lost tonight. Uh, you see, it was a very painful decision for me to take. But it was imperative because I had no alternative. Um, after the Igwe must have been committed to the care of our ancestors, he will live for the city. He didn't finish secondary school two years ago. He's still a small boy. How can he go in, go to the city and start living alone at night? Yes, I know that he finished secondary school two years ago. I had to take this decision because I don't have any money with which to further his education. It now becomes imperative for him to leave and seek his survival elsewhere. Not here, certainly. The other people have done that, it will not be any exception. He will go there, he'll be guided by our forefathers, he will succeed. Um, Papa, I've heard you. But what will I be doing in the city in order to survive? In, uh, you will do everything that will make you successful without compromising the integrity of this family. And I know you will do it. But Papa, you know we don't have any relation in the city. Where will Enina stay in the city, Papa? Now the friend of mine called Ugumba, he used to be the headmaster of Amachara Primary School. Your mother knows him. He now stays in Enugu. Enina will be staying with him. Hmm? And um, he will succeed. You may think that Enyin Naya is too young. I was 10 when my parents died. 
But I was able to get where I am today because I persevered. Most of the young men who are successful in this village today and flaunt their world left this place for the township having nobody to stay with. But they went there, they succeeded, and they came back here. The same thing will happen to Enjin Naya. He will go to city. He will be guided by the spirit of our forefathers. He will succeed and he will come back. Listen. Mweze and every number. You know that. More so when you are the son of somebody who has kept his head while others have lost theirs. I am the lion and you are my son. You will succeed. Nothing will prevent you. Why? Because you are my son. You will go there. You will succeed. You will come back. And we shall hail you as a success. Remember, wherever you go, you are carrying the name and the integrity of this family with you. And for that alone, our ancestors will guide you. Because... You are my son. Thank you, Papa. I've had you. And I know with your blessings, I shall succeed. Good. <laughs> Chief, thank you for your drinks. You're welcome. Now, why have you called us to your house? With so much urgency as conveyed by a driver. Thank you, Uchi Okeje. You see, the survival of any kingdom lies in the ability of its leaders to arrive at and implement good decisions swiftly. True words. But ours is a no such danger. It's no imminent danger, is it? It could be. The gods have provided us with a great opportunity to build a matter. That's why I invited both of you here so that we can put heads together and talk about how best to do that. We're listening. It's about the succession to the throne of Amatara. What? I want you to do you want to calm down, gentlemen, calm down. Judging by the abomination you have just mentioned, if we allow you to finish, you will kill the wrath of the gods. The gods can be appeased with sacrifices. And I have the money to do that. And that is why you forget that talking about succession to our throne, while the former occupant is yet to be buried, is taboo. Abolition! Calm down. Gentlemen, calm down. Listen. The past and the ignorance and stagnation it represented died with Igor Munekwe. Let us talk about how to bury it and embrace a new future of hope and progress that beckons on us. The gods are listening. Share this topic now till after the Igwe's burial and avoid the wrath of the gods. <laughs> the gods are wise, Ichiugo, very wise. They will never kill the Igwe of Amachara. Both of you are looking at the next equation. So, I am coming from you. Hi, hey, I'm getting out of here. Gentlemen, gentlemen, hey! It seems a change in was right. I have to wait till after the burial. <laughs> the aunt of a matcher. Play this place.
son. You have heard all what I told you in the house. Hmm? Yes. I don't intend to add any other thing to it, but bear in mind, whatever you do, wherever you go, please always remember where you are coming from. Hmm? Yes, Papa. You are carrying the name of this family wherever you go. Hmm? Yes, Papa. May the gods of our forefathers, the gods of our ancestors, the gods of Amachara guide and protect you at all times. You will go in peace and you will come back accomplished. I've heard you, Papa, and I will not fail you. Thank you. See him off. Mama. Thank you. suggestion you made last week. <laughs> and it really worked in destabilizing the succession meeting each as you called. I work on that. Chief, the poor man's inability to resist monetary gift is likened to that of the housefly to resist feasting on a decomposing caps. Hmm. <laughs> Good choice of words. Um, Ichi. I can still remember the various expressions on the faces of those elders when they saw the morning in my portfolio that day. <laughs> I guess I'm on my way to the throne already. You are already sitting there. Uh, <laughs> yes. Not until we stop each other's insistence on allowing the oracle make a choice for us. No, that one is very simple. See, once the council supports it, you have it. There is nothing he can do. All you need is to invite the elders here, apply last week's method, and it works out. Yes, it will be done. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I will have them here tomorrow. Straight away. Um, Ichi, I learned Ichiazu is planning another meeting soon. I have to beat him to that. You will beat him. <laughs> I'm sure of that. You will beat him. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie.
You boy can't that that's me. That's me. Enjoy yourself. There's more from where this came from. And they take a quiz with me. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my house, Ndichi. Thank you very much. Uh, people say that no one calls grey hairs to a meeting except to discuss grey issues. I called you here today to discuss the present and the future of Amacha. And all of you will agree with me that no other issue could be more grey at all. At all. <sighs> there isn't such issue too important to be discussed in the absence of the traditional Prime Minister and acting head of Amateur. Well, um, it's okay, Jay. You're right. You're very right. But I have so much regard for the office of Ichi Azu that I cannot invite him to my house to discuss anything. Rather, I'll see him in his house later. The proper thing would have been to talk things over with him first. Ichi a world as dynamic as ours requires adaptability by those who wish to be relevant. Change that involves disregarding to the dictates of the culture of our people is evil. Yes. Um, it, it's all right, Ndiche. It's all right. It's all right. Well, without wasting any more of your time, I called you here to inform you that I, the Bwain Danda, want to become the next Igwe of Amacha. No one chooses the Igwe of Amacha except a Jigora. The members of this council can change that. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to ask, whose Igwe are we talking about here? Is it the Igwe of Ijiri, the Oracle, or the Igwe of Amacha? Igwe of Amacha, of course. Well, if that is the case, the people and not the Oracle should choose their Igwe. Um, the development of this community, of Amacha, depends on us or the destruction of our village and all of us. Yes. Not if I am the equal. Hmm. I will personally develop a matter with my hard earned money. Hmm. Besides, there is another side to this that I know all of you will surely like. James, yes. tell the boys to get me the box. Azul's insistence on having the Oracle name our next Igwe and support me to the throne. Chief, 
come down. A spontaneous reaction like this changes when calm and calculative reason takes over. Eh? I can assure you, everything is under control. In fact, you are the Igwe already. Igwe! 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 has gone to the city, he will soon start sending you goodies. That's my prayer, so. Hey, but then your brother has been sending money to you for the past two years. Ah, ha, ha, you can say that again. As if he sends them to me and not to my parents. Oh, it's the same thing. The same money your parents use in buying good clothes, shoes for you that you use. Maybe, Mesha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> and I'll never hear you. Hey. Once again, you are never here. Latest words. You, you are your latest gist. Or you what this time? Huh. As if you are not in this town. Okay. Rumor has it that Chief Mwaka is nursing the ambition to be the next Igwe of Amachala. Amachala and Kaya. Hey. Who told you? Eh? Eh, 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 wait. What is wrong about that? Huh? Provided that the gods nominated him. Egwe! <laughs> nominated? <laughs> okay. It is said that then, he doesn't want it that way. He wants to get to that throne at all costs. And even if it means buying it, he has the cash. He can even buy this whole village. You can see, he has even made you his campaign manager. Well, my father told me, that word, however big, does not but one the ancient tune of Amachara. So I heard. The true one is a gift of destiny. And the gods. Please, let's go. We can gossip. Hey, so, what I am saying in essence is that the choice of Arigwe henceforth should be based on relevant and empirical qualities and not just on the whims and caprices of our gods who stand to lose nothing if the Igwe fails. Sit down, Chief Mwaka. Sit down. You are insulting our traditions. Why should he sit, sit down? down? Why should he sit down? Why? Uh, okay, Jay. Wait, wait. You see, the beauty of our traditional administrative system is that everyone is allowed to express their opinions no matter how unsavory those opinions might be to some people, so let him have his way. Um, Mwaka, please go on. I've already made my position known on this issue. I have a right to have my suggestion accepted or rejected by a vote of all the council members. It has never happened before. Why should it start happening now? Supposing it starts today. No, tell me, supposing it begins right now. What is wrong in Chief Mwaka indicating his interest to vie for the worship of Amachara? What is wrong in that? Those who the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. It's shade, ma. I'm ashamed of you and your cohorts in this shameful performance. Okay, Jen. Okay, Jen. Being as poor as you are and behaving and talking the way you do gives you the picture of an unintelligent sycophant. Do you hear that? An unintelligent sycophant. It's all right. Are you... <coughs> are you, you what? See, Ichi Edima, being a member of this august council presupposes that you must enjoy some integrity. 
but the irresistible fascination that the gutter has for you begins to just make one wonder. And I mean every word of what I am saying. You insult your seniors with impunity. You desecrate our traditional values gladly. You make nonsense of our deliberations happily. But sometimes I wonder how you wound up in this council. You see, the way you sound gives me the impression that you crawled out of a background of pockmarked criminal mistakes. <laughs> now having said that, let me get to the issue on the floor. The successor to the throne of Amachara has never been determined by ballot. It is the exclusive preserve of the gods and they alone enjoy that authority. This argument ends here. <laughs> Panda, Chief Moka, let's go. If we fail today, tomorrow is another day. Let's move. Let's move. Babu Panda. I am totally disappointed in you, Jade Man. You failed me! I tried my best. Your best was not good enough, my friend. It was a woeful failure. Now tell me why I should continue to partner with you to realize my ambition. Why? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. So I thought I had convinced all the indigenous. Until I had a cheer as we had a meeting with all those who are opposing us in this house. Hours before today's meeting. What? Yes. That's why he poisoned their minds against us. Chief, what do you suggest I do to Ichiazu to stop this nonsense? Uh, Chief, uh, poverty, like a virus disease, has eaten deep into him and he is dying slowly. So only a reliable cure can make him to support you. How do you suggest I cure him? Kill him? No, Chief. No. He enjoys special protection from the gods as acting head of Amachara. So any attempt in that direction will be suicidal. Let me suggest that you offer him what he can never refuse. An offer he will never refuse. Ichiaz was a very difficult man, Ichidima. Very difficult. Yes, it is difficult, but the best way to get the weakness of any man is through temptation. Tempt him with the opposite of poverty. And you will smile, I assure you. Yes, the opposite of poverty. Hmm. So once upon a time, a toad was relaxing under the shade of a tree. Then a snake came along and asked the toad to go away. And the toad said, why? And the snake said, because I am the only one who is entitled to enjoy the shade of this tree. 
So the toad moved some little distance. Again, the snake went to the toad and said, What are you doing in my compound? Kotsi demands that a host offers a seat to his visitor before anything else. Uh, not when that visitor is a problem unto the community. Okay. Akpati. Yes, Chief. The bag. Inside this bag, Chiazu, is the sum of five million naira, enough to change your world overnight. I am offering it to you. For what? I want to be the next Igu of Amachara. Take this money and remove all the obstacles you're putting on my way to achieving that. The traditional stool of Amachara is not bought with money. That area is the exclusive preserve of the gods. So I don't need your money. In defense of the sacred sanctity of the culture of Amachara, I stand firm like the hero country. Ichazo, a man blasted by the wind of poverty, is like an evoco tree without roots. This is an offer you can't refuse, Ichazo. Take the money away, Moka. I don't need it. You will hear from me. Till then. Good. Akpati. Yes, sir. Sierra. Come. So the toad moved away from under the shade of the tree. Again, the snake followed it. Ancestors, I greet you. You have always guided us. You have always protected us. You have always provided for us. Morka and his men are abusing everything that we hold dear in this community. He has consistently referred to me as a poor man. He has not stopped there. He calls me an Iroko without roots. There are some of us in this community who have sworn to uphold our traditional values, the essence of our culture. We know that we are in the right. And because we know that we are in the right, gods of our ancestors, this is your fight. It is your duty, gods, to rid our community of Morka and his men who have decided to deride everything that we hold dear. I offer you this sacrifice as I make this appeal to you, gods. 
protect us. Rid us of the pestilence represented by Morka and his people. His rejection of your money makes everything very difficult. I suggest you allow the gods name the Igwe. You will then buy a position from the person so named. Our culture allows that. And forever lose that throne to some nincompoop if he refuses to sell it? No. That is totally unacceptable by me. There must be a way to neutralize it, Yasuo. I am paying for your services, so think for God's sake, think! At the moment, Chief, he still commands the loyalty of majority in the council. The only thing we can do now is to deplete their number and then invoke our rights in the council to force him to revisit the issue. Yes. by convincing some of them to support us. But it, that would be very difficult with the two most respected Ichies in that camp, Ugo and Ukeje. What you are implying is that the opposition will crumble without us two? As sure as the palm oil melts with the application of heat. Yes. Honestly, I am really proud of Papa's refusal of Chief Mocker's bribe money yesterday. But I'm worried. Worried over what? I was eavesdropping when they were talking. And I didn't quite like his choice of words. Mama, he sounded so desperate and dangerous. I'm afraid for our safety, Mama. Yeah. Adam, your father is highly protected by the gods. Nothing will happen to him. Hmm? Nothing. Chief Moka, in all indication, would do anything to become the Igwe, including killing no. Tell Papa not to stand on his way. I'm afraid for our safety, your mama. I'm afraid, though, for your father to allow anybody to ascend to the throne of Amacha in a wrong way. It's a betray to the gods. Huh? Even at the point of death, he will never allow that. Hmm? I know you love your father so much, so go and prepare our breakfast.
gods of our land come to our rescue. Now, Ikema, repeat what you told us, Council, a while ago before these gentlemen. Okay. Isn't it premature involving the police at this point? I guess I need not remind you, Chiazu, that murder, apart from being an abomination in Amatara, is also a capital crime that only the police can investigate. I know that. But this council have dispatched some youths for the scene of the crime to go and try to authenticate the statements made by this woman here. Why don't we wait until they return so they can report back to us? Ichiazu, obstruction of justice is a crime. And at my level in the society, to get associated with any crime is a dirty scandal. Those who have no reputation to uphold and protect, like you, can afford to be careless in things like this. I can't. Officers, yes, sir. this woman saw it all. Madam, what happened in the bush today? <clears throat> I was picking mushrooms in a bush near Ichiogo's farm. When I heard a gunshot, I rushed out. I saw him lying in a pool of his own blood. But before that, I had seen a man hastily walking away from the farm. Is the person here? Yes. Can you identify him? Um, I didn't see his face, so, but from what I could make of his back, he looked like Ichi Ukeje there. Eh? Yes. Me? Eh. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. It's not true. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Woman. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that the person you saw at the scene of the crime is Ukeje. Oh no, the youths are back. They recovered this gun at the crime scene. Apparently, it was the murder weapon. Cops of Amateur. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Abu Panda. Abu Panda. This is Ichi Ukeje's gun. Uh -huh. In fact, I helped him buy it. Oh. Eh? Ichi Ukeje. This is your gun. That's your gun. Abu Panda. This man is in all yours. This is my gun, but... Oh, officer. Yeah? Uh, let him complete the part in your station. Well, From the time he committed this crime, he became an unwanted person, an alien in this community. Please, just uh, take, take him away. Go and bring him. Wait. No son of Amajara is found guilty before the facts are established. Let us employ some common sense here. How can a man commit a crime with his gun and then abandon that same gun at the scene of the crime? Does it make sense? He must have committed the blunder in his haste to leave the scene undetected. I screamed when I heard the gun shot. Maybe that was what scared him. Did you hear that, Mr. Right and Wrong? Did you? Officer, please do your work. Take him away. Let's go. Sir, let's go. And don't waste our time. Let's go, sir. Who can get? Don't worry. I know that the gods will intervene. Gods of our land, come to our rescue. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Hey, if one in another allows us to walk, 
<laughs> you boy with that. Welcome. Thank you very much. Indeed, there is no amount of load too big for the Ibuan Danda. Hmm. You have proved it. Thank you, Che. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. I have paid a camera. Okay. And the DPO has assured me that Che OKJ is a sure candidate for the prison yard. <laughs> <laughs> that is one problem solved. Hmm. But let me tell you, Chief. Even if they release him, our culture forbids that he steps his feet onto the soil of our matcha ever again. <laughs> yes. It's a demand. Eh? When the lion enters the jungle, the antelope takes to its heels. <laughs> it is very unfortunate that they fail to know who the lion of our matcha jungle is and take the necessary precautions when I entered. Ah, oh, Amanda! Ibu! Ibu! Uh, the men are <clears throat> outside. Yes. Have you briefed them yet? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let me see them. He has told you everything. Yes. yes. The council meets very soon. And that's where the real action will be. But one thing is clear though. Helping me become the next Igwe of Amachara means helping yourselves out of the trap of poverty. I hope you understand. Yes. You understand. Good. You understand. <laughs> Good. Um, please, wait outside for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. James! You wait under James! Me, please, I'm your wife. Yeah, so the, you the, there's no problem. This is what you have been telling me hmm? three days ago. No problem. Yesterday, the same thing. Today, again, not there's no problem. Talk to me. I am your wife now. I'm worried. I said there's no problem. Look, allow me to think. There's no problem. There's no problem. Oh, let it be no problem. problem. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Gods of our land, help us out of the situation. Gods of our land, you're all that we have. Who are you? You heard me, didn't you? I said, who are you? Uh, they are those replacing Ichiezu, Keje, and Dugu. Who appointed them? Their respected villages sent them to fill their slots in the council. That is not our procedure. If their villages want them to represent them on the council, they will first of all come to me with their names. If I approve those names, they'll be appointed to the council. They never did any such thing. Ichiezu. Their people recommended these gentlemen. Mm. I do not recognize them. Chiazu, you are just a traditional prime minister. 
It doesn't give you the right to take laws into your hand. No. I want both of you to leave now. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, um, please. You don't have that right to order them out of this council. Mm -mm. I said I want both of you to leave this place. All right. By the powers conferred on me, at the Onu of the Amatera community, I hereby suspend all council meetings henceforth until further notice. You can't do that. Just as I said, you can't do that. How can you do that? Like But how can he unilaterally take a decision like that? Wait for option two. How dare you? How dare you, Jiazu? Do you know what he succeeded in doing yesterday? Effectively stopping me from taking any further step towards realizing my ambition. Chief, it's even worse than that. His decree yesterday has effectively made him the sole traditional ruler of Ramachara until he recalls the council. I have always known him to nurse that ambition. How else can one explain that a poor, wretched man like Ichiya, so wretched man, would reject millions of ever gifts from me? I will stop him. Uh, uh, Chief, let me I don't want none of your advice. But, 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 I want to all of you. All of you. Uh, uh, all of you. I want to do uh, Chief, let's invoke the right of the people. So that next time when he shows this tendency to dominate, he will easily be killed. Mm -hmm. Not until I have made some salient facts known to that fool. But Chief, uh, I want to be left alone. Uh, but there, there are. I ways. said, leave my house. Oh, oh never put the guts loose on you. Leave. James! Abu Abanda! James! Abu Abanda! Hey! What could you see? Abu Abanda! Hey! He is your guest. I am the Iguayan Tanda, the aunt of a matcha. Chiasu, you are playing with fire, and fire will burn you. Chiasu. My mission here is to warn you that your ambition to become the sole ruler of Amatara will make you die like a common dog. One consolation about death is that it does not discriminate. I just might die like a common dog, as you just recommended, but uh, who knows the manner of death that the gods have prescribed for you, Chief Morgan? I will be the ruler of Amatara, the Igwe of Amatara. And no one, not even you, Ichazu, not even you can stop me. Tell the gods that. Tell the gods.
my people, I greet you. Welcome to my house. Thank you. Thank you. Um, before I speak any further, Ichei Dima will brief you on the reason why we called you to this meeting. Ichei, please. Uh, thank you, Chief. Thank you. And uh, welcome once again. Thank, thank you, Chief. Uh, there are things you can do to a married woman, and she won't tell her husband. Yes. But not when you take away her baby from her. Yes. True, it's true. It's your cooking. It's your cooking. There is a treacherous evil going on in our town, Amatera, right now. And as youths and women leaders, you have a right to know because you are equal stakeholders in this our kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. Azu and a few other greedy Ichies have conspired to deny our town a new Igwe since the demise of Igo Umunawe. We have tried our best to stop them, but to no avail. And because the destiny of our town is in our collective hands, we decided to inform you and the entire kingdom. Not on my life. I am the president of Amatara Youths in this community. And so, by my honor, I swear that no youth will stand aside and watch anybody rape our culture in broad daylight. Yes. Hey. What is it? Yes. Can it? Can it happen? Not with my colleagues and I as a women leader. We will mobilize people against such evil right away. Yes. Mom, I know you will. I know you will. But before you mobilize, let me remind you that the world has changed tremendously. These days, people like you, like me, Determine our destiny and not the gods anymore. Yes, yes, yes. I single handedly built a secondary school in Amachara. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. foundation yes. has ensured that widows and their children do not live in perpetual misery. Anymore. Yes, yes. Uh, so are yes. our youths in the area of business and job opportunities. My people, the next Igwe of Amachara must be progressively minded. Of course. Uh, Chief, I think the gods have that prerogative of choice in that uh, regard. No, Ejeme. No. The Igwe is the Igwe of Amachara people mm -hmm. and not of Amachara gods. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, but, Chief, uh, Ejeme, but, but is a cloak that blindfolds the foolish from taking full advantages of the opportunities before him. Hmm? Your father is ill and needs medical attention, right? James? Yes, Chief. Abu uh. Panda. Abu or Panda? Help. That is a hundred thousand naira. Take care of your father with that. Thank you, Chief. Darling, please all right. Oh, you know what? Eggy boy. Eggy boy. James. Yes, Chief. Give each of them a bundle. All right, sir. Thank you, Nothing goes for nothing. In other words, in other words, you rub my back, I rub your back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I can't 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 I Thank you.
What is the problem? You see, Azu, the beehive of amateur community has been disturbed, and the angry bees are in the air, seeking the head of the culprit. Grave words, my son. <laughs> but I don't understand you. Ichie, if in the next four days you do not reconvene the royal council to select the next Igwe, then we will invoke the power of the people and have you removed as the traditional prime minister of Amachara Kingdom. My people, have I spoken your mind? Yes! Yeah! Well, if what I have just heard is your collective opinion, then I'm afraid Amachara is in danger. No, Ichie, you have endangered yourself with greed and ambition. And if you do not heed our warning accordingly, then we will react. All right, I've heard you, and the gods have heard you as well. We shall meet, and I'll get back to you. You can go now. You are, 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 and I can handle the situation. Go and prepare me some roasted yam. Come on. Quickly. I want to eat roasted yam. Haven't you heard me? Oh no. We are here to inform you that the elders of our two villages have rejected your nominees to the Royal Council. Why? We were not mandated to tell you that. I see. All right. I will send you fresh nominees. That would be necessary. No nominees outside any and Endoka will be approved. I see. So you were also mandated to tell me who to nominate. Hmm? You see, when the gods allow you to reach a particular age, as both of you have now, it is for you to be custodians of culture. It is for you to preserve our traditional values, not to desecrate them. Hmm? Does the dog eat the bone that is hung around its neck? No. Give me your hands. Good. Fine. You see, when elders who are leaders of a generation 
decide to call black white, that generation is doomed. But there's a consolation. The gods cannot be deceived. The gods can never be corrupted. And they are watching us. They are watching every action of ours. All right, I have heard you. Thank you for insulting us. Edda, let's go. Okonu dere kanaru na ma pose wa fo. Lejirile. Lejirile. O kalu si ne jemba. Lejirile. Oh, lejirile. O kalu si ne chobo. Lejirile. 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 Ah. Azwerwala. Mm -hmm. The wise and fearless welcome you to the boat of the gods. I thank you, Chief Priest of Amachara. The people of Amachara have been suffering and groaning under the tyranny of one man. I ask you. What have we done to deserve all this? Are our gods asleep? Not at all. Give me the gifts for the gods and go home. Thank you. You're welcome. Gods of our land Come to our rescue Gods of our land Wipe away our tears Gods of our land Help us out of this situation We did everything as you instructed us, Chief. Just two days ago, we got the elders of our villages to reject his nominees and insist on any and the Ndoka. Hmm. And was the chair as you told him for? That same thing. Have you heard from him since then? No. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you for a job very well done. As you go now, my guard will give each of you the sum of 50,000 Naira and that of all the elders of your villages. Please send my gratitude to them. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome, you're welcome. You, you're welcome. This is great, Chief. Chief, the deadline set by Amateur people for years to do as we want expires today and he doesn't seem to be bothered. Now, what is our next line of action? Maybe he thinks the people are joking. Let's wait till tomorrow and see what his face will look like when the people carry out their threat. The poverty stricken fool will sink into the ground in shame. Better. He will not. see it. Better. Because I wouldn't want him around when I, Ibuai Danda, the aunt of Amacha, finally become the Igwe of Amacha. This is impossible. 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 My people, I greet you. Thank you. We greet you, sir. My people, I greet you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Unity is indeed strength. Mm -hmm. Today is our day of appointment with destiny. The destiny of our people, the destiny of the Amatra people is sacred. So now, let's all march to Jazu's house and protect the sacredness of our destiny. Amatra yes. Akwenu! Amatra Akwenu! Amatra Akwenu! Let's go! Wise one, we are gathered here. Listen to the message of the gods of Amachara. This gathering does not enjoy the support of the gods of Amachara. 
the intent is evil i question your integrity on that wise one the gods are the gods of the amatera people and not the gods of ichiazu yes or has ichiazu bribed you to speak okay shut up your mouth before the gods strike you dead beware that they do not turn on you first for misrepresenting them people of amateur i perceive death I hear the distant rumble. But it was own environment. It is now time to show that to the gods and the people of Amachara. Oh, poor Panda. I have never lost a battle. And I must win this one. Abu oh, Panda. Abu oh, Panda.
Nigeria change. <laughs> Any troubles? No, no troubles, Chief. Good. Take her to the boys' court and lock her up. Chief. I thought you said you would kill her in order to send a clear message to her father. I changed my mind. If in three days' time, her father is still blocking my way to the throne, you will kill her and dump her cups in front of their house. Chief, please. Shut up! Shut up! Another breath from you and you will die now. Idiot. Take her out of this place. Despite the death of the chief priest and all the entreaties that I have made to your father in the last few days to let me be the ego of a marcherer, he has refused. Now, I am going to send you home with a clear message for him. I will, I will do it for you, sir. It loves me so much, I would do it for you. Good. These gentlemen will brief you on your way. Gentlemen. Yes, Chief. Chief. Standing by, Chief. Take heart to our father. Yes, Chief. Okay, Chief. Consider it though. Bye, lady. Thank you. I know how you feel about this. Huh? Every other mother should feel like this. But listen, there's nothing to be disturbed over. 
we shall find her. I promise you. I know that the gods will protect her. She'll be back. I have served the gods well. And they will protect my daughter. Hmm? Don't let this disturb you, please. Have you served them better than the chief priest? Who they murdered in cold blood three days ago? And that ghosts have done nothing about it. Now, the way I saw my daughter Chidera in a dream last night, it wasn't good at all. Wait. A dream is only a dream. The police are already looking for her. I know that the gods will protect her until the police find her and bring her back. I am assuring you that she'll be back. Huh? She will be back. Come on, man, let's get up. Like I was saying it, Yazo, Amachara needs an Igwe. But the disagreement between us is denying our community that. I have come so that we can come to some compromise for the good of Amachara. I'm listening. My group and I have agreed on how the next Igwe of Amachara should be named. Let the Oracle perform its duty as usual. Good. The gods be praised. But that's on one condition. That we approve Ndoka and Deni as council members. I'll give it a thought so I can get back to you. Amacha is waiting in Chiazu. Good day. You're all that we have. Don't let the wicked in this world override us. We have served you so faithfully. For the time past, you have been there for us. Gods of our land, we beseech you. Fight for us. Fight for us. The Guardian of our people. If I get angry, I don't know.
by others. What seek the wise and the prudent in the board of the gods? We have come to seek the wisdom of the gods of our ancestors. Here are our consultation items. <laughs> the gods are all ears. Speak. Gods of our fathers. Gods of our ancestors. You who appoint our kings and grant them long life. You in whose hands lies the destiny of our community, Amachara. We have come to find out from you who the successor to your late humble servant, Iwe Umunakwe, is. <laughs> you have had them, the guardian of my people. Speak! That they may be happy and know who is going to be the next successor. My elders, the gods have chosen Chief Moka as the next Igbo of Amajara. Chuba, Chuba to distort the message of the gods is to court death. Choba, you are digging your own grave. Choba, 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 I have warned you. Let us go. <laughs> Ejiri, God of our ancestors, I greet you. You provide for our people in times of peace. You protect our people in times of war. You protected our forefathers. It is now time for you to protect us. I have lived my life upholding your values. Today I fight for the preservation of the sacredness of those values. But forces beyond me have conspired to desecrate those values. This forces me to destroy all that we hold dear, all that you have compelled us to uphold all these years and at this point I must say that as a mere mortal I have done my utmost and I now entreat you to take over the battle from here I have brought you the fruits of my labor from my farm in appreciation of what you have done for my people what you did for our forefathers. Accept them, I entreat you, but make this fight yours from now on. I have done my utmost. God of our forefathers, I greet you again. Take over the fight. The God of our land, the protector of our people, the protector of our Machara. <laughs> they <might> come. <laughs> Speak to me. Speak to them so that they will hear. <laughs> uh, I know what you want. And I'll give it to you, Ejiri.
<laughs> Ibuwa Inanda! Ibuwa Inanda of Awachara. Ibuwa Inanda is a man of his words. Now, crown me. Ejiri! The time has come! Why are you back so soon? Where's the crown? It's still in the shrine. Mm. What about the chief priest? He's dead. Mm. Mm. Dead? How did he die? However he may have died, the fact remains that with his death, the coronation has been shifted until the gods select another chief priest. You must be joking, Ichazu. You must be joking. No sane person jokes with an abomination, which is what the death of the chief priest on your coronation day is. An abomination, Chief Morker. Whatever. But I must be crowned today. Today. The gods have just said a resounding no to that. And I, the Bwani Danda, will give them a resounding rejection of their decision today. Uh. Hmm. Uh, so as a traditional prime minister, our culture confers on you the right to present the Igwe to the people after the priest has crowned them. Or to crown him by yourself in the absence of the priest. I will not consciously incur the wrath of the gods. I will do no such thing. Ichazu! Ichazu! Abu Panda. Abu Panda. Chief, I'm afraid we have to postpone this coronation. What will I tell my friends and the people of Amatara, waiting at the village square, for me to be presented to the Manigwe? What do I tell them? We, uh, we have no choice, Chief. We have no choice. Hey, this situation has become the proverbial sesa fly on a man's crot. Leave it and it will suck you to death. Smite it and you risk busting the testes as well. For me, I am going to kill the sesa fly. How, Chief? Wait for me here, all of you. I am going to get the crown. And when I return, I shall appoint another traditional prime minister from among you who will present me to the people.
Igwe. My people like which you are. The coronation day was a day like no other day in our town, Amachara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least, the state governor and some federal ministers got to know about our town, Amachara. Hey! hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> the coronation was not only unique because of their presence, mm -hmm. but more importantly, for the first time in the history of our town, Amachara, a round peg was put in a round hole in our royal chronology. There are kings, but there are kings. My people, I greet you. Amachara Quenu. Amachara Quenu. Amachara Quenu. Amachara My people, I want to tell you that we have crossed all the obstacles on our way to progress. Oh, yes. And Amachara will never be the same again, ever. Another land, Your Highness. I would not have been so bothered. But that land is the only inheritance from my late father, and my family lives off it. Igwe, please, please. Help me beg Ben to leave my land for me. Is that all? Young man, did you hear that? Yes, Your Highness. What have you to say to that? Igwe Ndiche. I greet you. I guess I need no further introduction to you all. I came back from the United States of America one month ago with a single aim that is to help develop Amachara village. After carrying out a comprehensive <coughs> feasibility study, I have decided to build a factory in Amachara. But the only site that is suitable for this gigantic project is the land in question. Personally, I don't see anything wrong in telling Ogene to relinquish ownership of the land to me. Yes. My people, I want you to look beyond ownership tussle to what the people stand to gain if I build my factory. Because if Ogene succeeds in stopping me, if he succeeds in stopping me, then I have no choice than to relocate my factory to my maternal village. Thank you. Did you offer any monetary gift to Ogene? Yes, Your Highness. To the tune of two million naira. Apo. Two million naira. Apo Panda. Apo Panda. Ogene. Igwe. Why did you refuse the offer? Igwe. Selling that land is a most dishonorable thing. It means selling my own birthright. No amount of money can induce me to do it. And I told him, 
What do you do on that land? Igwe. I farm on the land. Ogene, how many people of Amachara have you employed since you started farming on that land? Igwe. I farm on subsistence level and employ nobody. Ben, how many people do you intend to employ when the factory is finished? Your Highness, I will employ so many people, at least 50 indigenous of Amata. Then it's settled. Make no payments to anyone. By my royal decree, I hereby give you the land to build your factory. This is my judgment. As I told you earlier, my family and I depend only on that piece of land for our survival. The implication of this injustice is that we have been made destitute overnight. Please, save me from such ordeal, Ichiazu. Prevail on the Igwe to reverse his judgment, please. Um, Ogene, honestly, I sympathize with you in all sincerity. In this situation, there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Look, I, I, I wish I could, but I can't. Ah. But you are the traditional Prime Minister of Amatara. Yes, I am. But for as long as that imposter, Mocha, remains on that seat, you will never see me anywhere near the palace. No. Did you see me at the last council meeting? No. Good. I won't go there. No, I won't. But what do you suggest that I do? Hmm. Um, I suggest you take your case to the gods. The gods will give you justice. They are not like us mortals who are corruptible. They are just. They are fair. I think the gods will handle your case properly. Take heart, eh? Okay, I believe the gods will give you a solution to this problem. Ngene? Ngene? Ngene! You who stood on the ground and touched the screen. 
die. You in whose hands justice rests. Fight for me. Fight for me. Give the downtrodden before you. A voice I beseech you. Ngene, ngene, ngene. Oh, fight for me, ngene. Fight, 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 fight for the downtrodden. I know you will do it for me. I know you will do it for me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Are you there? How do you know that you go collecting this whole land from Ogene again for me? Now, and the count of three, I want you to leave here. Come on, get out of this place now! I said you should get out of this place. We appealed to his wisdom. We played on his emotion. But your highness, he was quite resolute in his decision. What is the implication? The implication is that we have an idle prime minister. And that's a bad omen for us. That could well explain the mysterious death in our machara recently, your oh. highness. Then I will have none of it. I have respected Ichiazu enough by not going ahead to appoint a new traditional prime minister on my coronation day like I threatened. Whatever he thinks he is, Amacha is bigger than him. Yes. 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 How much bigger? I hereby appoint Ichiedima oh. as the new traditional prime minister of Amacha. Yes. 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 Fine, my daughter. Come on, come Nothing! Nothing! 
Square a while ago. Again? Again? Eh? But some boys helped me when I tried to run. The money that I tell them what I know about that woman's madness. In eh? this amateur. In this amateur. In fact, it took the intervention of our worst enemy, Ichi Azu, for them to release me. Igwe, how long will this go on? Eh? Not anymore. Not anymore. This has gone on for more than a week, and that's more than enough. Igwe, what do we do to prevent this woman from exposing us? Huh? Boys! Igwe! You heard him. Yes, yes sir. sir. You know what to do. This night needs job. Igwe! Igwe!
Gods of our land, come to our rescue. What is it? Your Highness, in the past one week, we have known everything but peace. All our goods died in one day. Our farms were gutted by fire the same day. And we woke up this morning to find our wife very, very sick at the point of death. Is that why you came and called me off my bed? Do I look like a doctor? Your Highness, we have consulted the oracle. And you said it was due to the money we collected from you three months ago to oppose each year as well. But this is the beginning of a shot up. up. God, he will take this buffoon out of my company. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, 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 is that so? Oh, 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 I'm. As I was saying, not even after we have told His Highness everything did he make any attempt to help us. Rather, he chased us away as if we are also. Please help us, Olo. His Highness refused to help you. Then there's nothing I can do. Nothing. Oh no. You are our last hope. Please, please, please help us. Please, hello. All right. Um, look, this, this is a very serious issue. Huh? Okay. You will summon the entire amateur community. Tell them the truth. Confess to them. Ask for their forgiveness. Apologize for everything that has happened. You can do that, can't you? Oh no, this will be very shameful. Is there no other way of doing it? Okay. Um. Go to... Chief Morka. Give him back all the money he has given to you. Wash your hands of Chief Morka and all his activities. I think that way the gods may just restore your peace. We, we have used up the whole money. I see. Then you have used up all your peace. I can't help you. The gods can't help you either. You can go now. Please. Please. There's nothing I can do for you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm sorry for you people.
Your Highness, I've never been so beaten all my life. Hmm? My entire body is on painful fire as I'm talking to you. Nduka, Your Highness, Your why Highness. did you beat up my traditional Prime Minister? Why? Your Highness, I did not know what I was doing when I beat him. Uh, I, I, I was possessed, possessed by, by who? You glorified it, you're possessed by who? You have the guts to beat up my prime minister and stand there and tell me you were possessed by who possessed you? No, tell me! Tell me who you were possessed! Calm down, Your Highness, calm down. Calm down. I know a person behind all this rubbish. I know him. Is this a joke or something? It's only a fool that will joke with this kind of situation. It's here as though it's behind all the dirt and negative occurrences in this Sabatana Amachera, including what happens today. It's here as It's here as Yes. It's here as is very diabolical. It's here as is plotting your downfall. It's here as is plotting for you to be disgraced and possibly turn the people against us. Hmm? It is how to discredit you. exposed. All the evil you committed against the Igwe and council members to get them discredited has been exposed. Not even the gods can save you from my wrath today. Morka, you are daring the gods. Abopanda. You are daring the gods. I warn you, Morka, you are daring the gods. Abopanda. Let me see you and your so-called gods in action then. Gods, force this fool to sit on the floor. Your Highness. Uh, that's it, a taboo. A titled man does not sit on the bare floor. That is precisely why I want him to do that. So that he and his so-called gods will know that I, the Boy in Danda, the Igwe of Amachara, put no opposition whatsoever. Gods! Your Highness. Iye de Iyaba. Ikwada Manonya. Kagwada Tumbe.
Ichiazu. Ichiazu. You have been exposed. All the evil you committed against the Igwe and council members to get them discredited has been exposed. Not even the gods can save you from my wrath today. Morker, you are daring the gods. Abobanda. You are daring the gods. I warn you, Morker, you are daring the gods. Abobanda. Let me see you and your so-called gods in action then. Gods, force this fool to sit on the floor. Your Highness, that's it, a taboo. A titled man does not sit on the bare floor. That is precisely why I want him to do that. So that he and his so-called gods will know that I, the boy in Danda, the Igwe of Amachara, brook no opposition whatsoever. Gods! Your Highness. Iye de Iyaba. Ikwada Manonya. Kagwada Tumbe. Honestly, I think His Highness went too far in Ichiazo's house the last time. This is not what we expected when we supported him to be the way of Amachara. Ndoka, my mind tells me that we are doomed men already. Hey! Why do you say such a terrible thing? Does any of us need to be told that by collecting money from Chief Moka to support his discretion of our culture, that we have sold our conscience to the devil and beat our tents? Who are you? What did this to you? Igwe, the bottom line is that Ndoka and Enyi and some other villagers who talked to the mysterious boy became deaf and dumb. Yeah. As you see them, they are deaf and dumb. They can't talk. They can't hear. Huh? You mean that these two can no longer talk or hear? Yes! Hey, two of you, tell the Igwe your situation. <laughs> They can't talk, they can't hear. My goodness. Huh? Well, I can't help them. Huh? As you can see, I am only an Igwe and not a doctor. Okay, Igwe, let me suggest that we do something to appease the gods because to leave them in this situation, eh? I said go. Leave my palace! Go! Get out of this palace! Ah. Ah, ah. Let's go. go. Ah. Move. 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 Fools, idiots, every little thing they run to the palace to come there. Am I a doctor?
I have made a fatal error of joining the uh, abominable gang. <coughs> God forbid that I should live with this humiliation. <coughs> for taking their lives last night. Theirs was a very humiliating ordeal. And if I were in their shoes, I would have towed to the same line. Talking about towing the same line, am I really safe? If the gods could so disgrace those who did almost nothing in the whole plot, what fate awaits me? Should I tell the people? No. That will mean erasing every honor I still have, even after my death. I can't do that. Let the worst come. I am ready. Panda. Abu Panda.
จถึงมากลางเจ้าดูเว้ยเด็กเด็กเราสักกี่ปีแล้วไม่ต้องการสักกี่ What is the stench about? Did you pass e x p e t on your cloth? They struck me with bloody order. Please help me. Go, go, go. Just go, go, go. Get that out of my palace. Go, go, go. Just get out. What about me? Go, go, go. Stand up, stand up, come on, stand up, get up, get up. What is the problem? <clears throat> yeah, it's here. Evil is on the loose, and <clears throat> someone has to confront it. You are the only one who can do that. It's here, please save our matter, please. n a i you are a man of great integrity. The gods always listen to you. Oh no! How many more people will die before you do something to save our m a t e r eh? Well, first of all, you people did the right thing by returning to Chief m o r k e r the money you collected from him. 
this calamity has befallen our people because the land has been desecrated and the gods are angry and until the anger of the gods runs its full course Amachira will know no peace but I want you people to go home assured that peace will return to Amachara. But that will be only after the gods have finished their fight. You can go now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. is responsible to make me forget the throne of Amachara, then that person is mistaken. Because that throne is my life. I, the Buanyi Tanda, will never forget that throne for anybody. Not even the gods. You save me from this torment. I beg you in the name of your late father. Ah! Ah! Just I beg you. See, they are flogging me to death. Ah! They are flogging me to death. Save me.
Oh, nigga, why don't you hit this way? This way, my friend. I don't give a damn who me are. I think we're taking this way. Take it easy. Let's go with them, man. Come on, take it easy. Let's go with them, man. Come on, take it easy. 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 Thanks go to the benevolent gods. Yes, you see, the gods fought a very impressive battle. Yes. And left us with victory, but without a voice. That's the problem. Who speaks for us from now on? They didn't tell us. That question is to be answered by the gods. Mm. Hmm? Thank God that we now have a new chief priest um, in the person of uh, DK. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I think that's all we need. Mm, that's true. That means that uh, tomorrow we'll go to see the chief priest. Mm? Yeah. Yes, we'll go to the shrine of injury. I agree. Uh, yes. Let's know whom they have chosen to occupy the seat and run the affairs of our matcher. It's your kid. What do you know? I know he's not feeling well at all. He's not feeling well. He said that if by tomorrow morning he's not able to make it, we should go ahead with other elders to the shrine. He's prepared to abide by whatever the oracle says. I hope the condition is not all that serious. I am not so serious, but let us go. Hey, Jiri, what are you doing? 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 Bonica, Bodica, Bodica, Bodico, Bachoka, Machodica. I never want to wind a name, and my little news about my Vibletian among way, a Vletian among way. Edgy, a butcherbrat and Palata Marasalo and Wupi. I go sign at Romanania. Each aso is the chosen one. I have an argument. But any now will be the good. I have an argument. I have an argument. I
bowing down to me, Jimmy. Hey, Ilya, please, you are wanted in our match right now. It is very urgent. Very urgent. Urgent? Hmm, urgent. Is my father there? Have they killed him too? Hey, Ilya, don't worry. Your father is alive. Let's just go. All right. Is it my mother? Can somebody talk to me? What is going on? Explain later. Everything is okay. You are one. I'm talking about match right now. Let's go. No problem. Your father is alive. Your father is alive. What's the problem? What about my brother? Forget the brother. Forget the brother. Let's go. The person will look after the brother. Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It is urgent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, in there. Welcome. I greet you, my elders. Why is everybody standing here? Where is my father? My father is inside. Let us see him. Come on, go inside, let's see. Yes. You give me no phone, was it? Uncle, I call Anna to a guagua. I call Sadi Manana. One bedroom, bed, two, no, Sagwebune. Emanoli Lebulo, good, be a Gorona Moja, and Abaka. Emanoli Lebulo, good, be a Gorona Moja, and Abaka. 
Atu kwa di biozu mwa. Ana ana sina mwa. Ovo goliga na no. Ovo goliga na no. Ovo kesi no kadi beju no ni no ni gwa liansi. Mane jemi boka eji vumi veja kala na makolo ni nisa wa koko. Hey jury. Asuna usi banko kwa eja mwenye nka. Na jaba la bana kwe fume. Akwa kukwa adu mama kuba. Akwa isi mme mbebe. Odu kwa nkona adu mbulavi mena aslo ranli. Odu kwa nkona adu mbulavi mena aslo ranli. Oke cha lagwa. Oke cha lagwa. Oke cha lagwa. Olu mburike je liebune. Olu mburike je liebune. Oko do kosi me. Hey jiri. Ha. Ike tu gulank blanya. Ike di gogo. Oje ka obolo. Asim nebu che takbala takbala tama awo sali onye ngubi. Ebu che takbala takbala tama awo sali onye ngubi. Oje ka obolo. Mwa mwa gili. Ha ka me. Ha. Isi ne bo gidi ne bo gidi. Isi ade blo gidi blo gidi ogi da kapo onyo nu. Bum! Isi ne bo gidi ne bo gidi nka ade blo gidi blo gidi ogi da kapo onyo nu. Isi ne bo gidi blo gidi nka ade blo gidi blo gidi ogi da kapo onyo nu. Oje yabu. Oje gabu. Oje gabu. Let me have your palms. Your two hands stretched. Kevin Zun. Zun asu yelo lalo. Kevedo, awo do ni kuku. Kevedo, Kevedo, awo do ni kuku. Awo do no edanya, awo do no edanya. So I don't know, I don't know manek. I don't know manoye. I don't know manawo. I don't know manawo. Ah, ha. Are you from Kalema? Sherika, o resto não é. Tá, o bonu babu. É tipo o leite da mesa. É tipo o leite da mesa. Ah. Ei, Juri. A pouco quando o mamá cuba, o chefe banco quer já moenca. Ma già balla balla è fru come, a poco anni lo raggi. Cabo a fo, mo che ne ha gojo a batto su no gio a fo, ma è già batto su no gio a fo, ma a fo mo ne gio, ma che non fa che di già uana. Oggi è Eza do Roma, ngembo ngenda machara. Woni eza do Roma. Of our land, help us out of this situation.